hello everyone um, thanks for uh, appreciating my videos and uh, i got a lot of uh, messages from my viewers and my juniors uh, uh, about uh, how to load an uh, an iwell so today i will not be discussing about any technique of uh, cataract surgery but today i'll show you how to load uh, hydrophobic lens and uh, i will also discuss about a uh, new lens recently introduced in um, by jnj by Johnson and Johnson and uh, the name given is iHans and this is the monofocal uh, type of lens and uh, it is basically based on the same Technus one platform and with the same material and uh, but company claims that it gets uh, intermittent vision and as you all know that uh, uh, for us these days intermittent vision is very important because we are doing a lot of intermittent works like we are uh, using mobiles and ipads and computer use and especially for females those working in the kitchen you need intermittent vision and if you are driving you need to see the dashboard and the dials so a lot of uh, intermittent uh, vision is required these days so we'll discuss about that also so this is the platinum series one cartridge and uh, you can see that there is a hollow space uh, through which we uh, implant the lens and there is a hump in the lower side which is basically uh, which addresses the uh, site of plunger through which the plunger comes and pushes the eye well. and it has a uh, eye well mark on the surface and the tip is two point it's a beveled uh, down tip and uh, it exactly fits in the clear corneal wound and you can uh, implant a lens through the contact technique, incident contact technique and this is the IHANS uh, Technus implant and uh, the power is 23 diopters and uh, company claims that uh, it is um, it gives wonderful uh, distance vision and the intermediate vision bus, but, and it's a kind of refractive lens and it doesn't have any rings over the lens you can see it is it has absolutely clear optics and uh, the edges you can see are nicely edged square edges all around all 360 degrees you can see beautifully designed edges which basically protects the equatorial cell to come on the center and it reduces the chances of uh, PCO, early PCO formation. For the biometry, for the power calculation, you can use trust on the similar way you are using the biometry you are doing for the technic cyber implantation. This is the, the way if, if you push the lens directly in the cartridge you can see that leading haptic is straight and it is going very straight. So if you continue in this way and if you enter in the eye that leading haptic will hit the poster capsule and you, you may create like this will create problem. So try to push this haptic and on the anterior surface of the optics and now you this is the right way of uh, pushing the eye well now you can see that eye well is going just like a baby folding the hands and legs now eye well is ready and you can see that as we push this eye well through the plunger it goes very easily through the cartridges and through the incision through the wound assisted technique you can very easily and slowly push the lens implant the lens inside the eye it goes inside the eye it opens um, in a better way comparison to the technis and now i you can wash the chamber thank you very much for watching